friends, I'm Colonel Failure, and this is a very quick walkthrough of how to install mods and community DLC into your version of Train Fever. Uh, there's quite a bit available for you, but uh, some people find it a little bit difficult to get around, particularly if they don't speak much German. As you can see, if we head to trainfever.net, which is where the action tends to happen, uh, the whole site is in German by default, um, which is fine. I mean, maybe your browser will do a translate job, but this will help you work around it no matter what. Now, through this tutorial, I will pause from time to time after each section just to ensure that you can uh, you can catch up. I recommend using the pause button if you're attempting to uh, follow along. So, first things first, let's head to trainfever.net and then uh, in the top corner you will see that you can change the navigation into English. Uh, this is represented by the Union Jack flag, that of the United Kingdom. Um, so if, uh, if English is your thing, that's the one you want to select. With the interface in English, you might be able to find your way around a little easier, but much of the content is still in German. Uh, the, you, the, the guys who've created this site, they do put a fair amount of effort into localizing some of the files available, but quite a lot of it is still in its native German. So uh, good luck if you, uh, if you want to, to muddle through with that, but a lot of it's fairly self-explanatory anyway. So we want to head to the downloads section of the site because let's face it, that's why we're here. When doing so, you will be confronted by some terms and conditions, uh, sometimes referred to as terms of condition on the site itself. Uh, just accept those. Basically, all you're agreeing to is that you're not going to rip everything off and go and host it elsewhere on your own rival train fever mod site. These guys have put a lot of work in. It's only fair that they get to benefit from having it hosted uniquely with themselves. You'll now see the full selection of content available. Uh, feel free to poke away to investigate at your leisure. Uh, there are several categories to play with, bit uh, trains and buses and trucks and, and all of that kind of goodness. Uh, there's tools, there's reskins, there's, there's all kinds of things going on here. But for our purposes, we want the DLC section because we're going to learn how to install the Nordic DLC. The only thing listed in this section at the time of recording is the Nordishes DLC. Nordishes translating quite literally as Nordic. Um, hit the download button, select your platform, give it a minute, and you're off and downloading. Uh, it's really that straightforward. Um, everything else that you need to know about this, you can see by watching anyone kind of playing through the content and you'll get an idea of what's in it. But equally, if you click on the image rather than just going straight for download, then you can uh, get some overview about what's included. And let's not beat about the bush. This is a tremendous piece of work by members of the community and, uh, and any support you can give them is most recommended. Once the file is downloaded, uh, I suggest dragging it to your desktop from your browser so that you can find it easily later on. Although, I'm sure you're a professional and have downloaded lots of things in the past, so put it wherever you usually put things that, so you can get to them in relatively short order. Now, in order to do anything useful, we're also going to need the Train Fever Mod Manager, sometimes abbreviated to TFMM. And to get that, we're going to need to head back into the full selection of things available for download into the Tools section. Now, it doesn't appear in the original selection of tools. Uh, it might do for you. It depends what's popular at a given moment. However, if you click on the Downloads column, you'll reorder that list. Sometimes. Uh, it can be a little funky. It doesn't necessarily move in the, in the most uh, intuitive of fashions. Um, but you'll reorder that list by the number of times it's been downloaded. In my particular list, it appears in second place. Uh, but that's what you're looking for. Anyway, click on this and select the latest stable version for your platform and let it download. Now, this is a .ra file, so you will need to extract it before you can use it. Personally, I recommend using 7-zip, and the URL is on the window right now on the screen. That's, that's what people say, isn't it? There you go. Uh, that's for, for Windows users. I don't know if they, it supports uh, Unix or Mac, but I'm sure you have a local solution that works for you. You'll also want to create a folder somewhere to store your ever-increasing mod collection. 
any way you like will do absolutely fine. The game will work just fine no matter where you put this. Once you've got the uh, TFMM extracted, uh, you will want to uh, drop that into your new mods folder. And when that's done, run the XE by double clicking on it and install it into this folder. When it's installed, double click the TFMM icon with the paint splat. Now you'll know this if you've got uh, the, uh, the full kind of description for each file in that folder because this is the application. There are two different TFMM icons for you to choose from. It's the application or the .exe that we're after. This will load up the Train Fever Mod Manager and the first thing you'll want to do is adjust the settings. Now this may pop up automatically or you may need to grab it from the settings menu in the top left. So it's under file. Now, unless you've installed Steam somewhere unusual, or you've installed Train Fever by an unusual route, uh, the TFMM will detect where you have got the game installed. And if it doesn't, however, point it to your Train Fever root folder. If you are using the Steam version and Auto Detect didn't help you out, it'll be under Steam slash Steam Apps slash Common slash Train Fever. Uh, don't use the uh, the uh, the directory shown on the screen right now because that's where it is on my computer I'm pretty certain it won't be in the same place on yours with that set you need to select your language and hit save now let's add the mod to the game so select the downloadable content tab in train fever mod manager click add new mod and select the mod from where you saved it then click open You'll get the progress bar as the mod installs. What this is basically doing is adding all of this content into your folder for the game. When all that's done, we can press the magic Start Train Fever button and see it in the game. Now, if you are running the Steam version, you may need to be logged in, but I haven't checked, so I don't know. If it doesn't work first time, log into Steam, try it again. With Train Fever loaded up, start a new game. You can't add it to an existing game. Uh, so if you've got a save file you desperately hoped to suddenly convert into having all of the Nordic stuff available, unfortunately, at the moment, you can't do that. Uh, maybe it will be available in the future, but it's not right now. When starting a new game, the Nordic DLC will be available as a choice in the same way as the US DLC is also available. If you want to go straight in by quickly starting, just select the DLC icon and start your game. However, if you head into the advanced section, you can also tinker with your mods. The official ones are no main connections and no end year for vehicles I always use, but if achievements are your thing, you'll want to leave all mods disabled since mods disable achievements. Have a play with the rest of the options if you want to add the Nordic DLC. Uh, Northern European is that which you are looking for, so if you wanted American vehicles in a Northern European setting, be my guest. But I suspect you probably want the vehicles. Now, you can have all vehicles from all DLC at the same time, if you're that way inclined. Um, and maybe you are. That's entirely up to you. It's your game. Play however you like. When you've made all your selections, start the game. And with a bit of luck, you'll end up with something that looks like this at some point. Except yours is probably more profitable, and you haven't wasted quite so much money by building rail you didn't need. Anyway, I hope this tutorial has been in some way useful to you. Uh, if it has, why not press the thumbs up button? It's the sort of thing that people do when they enjoy something. Also, if you like the sound of my voice, why not press subscribe and then you can hear lots more of it at your leisure. Anyway, thanks very much for watching this. I hope it's been useful. Cheerio. This, this, this.